between Irika's passion for guns and stuff like that, and her background of tinkering with things, I think that kind of collaborative effort would be possible. Now time to close the case. Margala said he was good with finances, so maybe he had something to do with the safe, and I believe him and Ar Icardi had something to do with the safe. Unfortunately, it looks like a And that incriminates side. all of them. After all, it was only around 10 seconds after the gunshot went off that you arrived on the roof. 10 seconds? What could happen in the period of 10 seconds? If someone was up here besides the dead fraudster, you would have definitely seen them. You're right. And nobody was up here I as well. I anyone was here. And if they were, where could they have gone? I don't think they had to be here to pull this murder off. I think that's what the thing of it is. Unlike the clock tower case, it seems doubtful a rope ladder was used here. There's no place to edge a rope and no time to descend. What if there was no crash pad? What if there was a hole blown in the parking lot and a Cardi dived from the roof directly into the water channel with his wetsuit? What if that happened? It'd That's possible. Super boring if the criminal used the same old trick. We can't say for certain this wasn't a repeat. I think that's possible. But I think you might be right in this case. So it'd be sketchy as fuck, but not inconceivable for an athlete suicide. to do. And the hole was blown after the fact, after the safe. Maybe the safe was heavy enough to create the fucking hole in the parking lot for a cardi to jump through into the water channel. Maybe that's doable. What are you doing here? Oh fuck. Uh, aren't you the wanted terrorist? No, no I'm Yogi Bear. I'm misunderstanding. I'm not a terrorist. I'm Smokey the Bear. Only you can prevent forest fires. I'm an advocate He's for anti-terrorism. So you fought among yourselves, huh? Terrorists murdering each other. You're all trash. How to ruin order? No, I didn't do this. Save it for later. You have no right to remain silent. No right to an inter- There you go, that's the move. Come on, Yuma. We're gonna have to do a fucking big-ass escape sequence, aren't we? It's very bad timing, because I have to go to the restroom, too. Not because of the peacekeepers. Oh, where are we going? What are we doing? There's a fork in the path. Uh, up. I'm going up. Stairs. Wait. No, cause that right leads there. to a dead end, doesn't it? But I don't know what the other way leads to. Oh, I'm going up. Which way I'm going go? fucking up, dude. I'm going up. This way. Yes. Ah! Nailed it. Sorry, I am currently in mourning, so. A passionate invitation like Fuji, it's me, Yuma. Oh, this is hot. Dude, we picked the right path. Right. Are you hurt? Ironically, because we could have ran right, but we ran straight. And guess what we got? Waifu. Let's save Silver. Got him good. It's dangerous here. The peacekeepers are right on my tail. Oh, then follow me. Nice. I didn't expect her to be there. That was sudden as fuck. I'm glad it happened though. It's like a very awkward one-night stand, if that one-night stand was an awkward meaning in the fucking run-down dumps of a slum district. Yeah, come to think of it, with the polluted water, Icardi is the only one that could have done that. He's the only one that could have dove into the water channel, huh? Because of the snorkel and the wetsuit. Today my lucky item should be a fool's right eyeball. Let's see. Now where can I find a fool? Literally anywhere. This place is full of them. <laughs> Take your pick. You better hurry and find that terrorist, or I'll turn you into my lucky item. Good luck, Dominic. Get going, you idiot! <laughs> she is fucking weird. I don't know how I feel about her, dude. Oh my god. I don't like her at all. She's fucking freaky. That was close. Oh shit! We pulled a metal gear! Holy fuck, it actually works! What the fuck? I did not even notice that was them. I'm not even kidding. I escaped their clutches. Holy shit. It's heartening to know I've got a partner like Snake was onto something, dude. 
heartening? I was rather heartbroken. No matter how long I waited, it did not seem like you would return to me. Oh, dude, Fubuki loves me. I'm sorry. It's gonna happen. Something unexpected happened. Waifu, she was our waifu the whole time. What happened? She was right then. We just, she was right there. We just didn't have the mind to appreciate her. The client is dead. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah about that. Huh? Enough about waifus and romance. God damn it. I was still alive when I arrived. I forgot about the murder. Chased by the peacekeepers. Dongan Rampa games have never been about happy head. endings. They've been about murder. A suicide. Every time. Seems like it. Then it is my fault. Huh? No, it's not. If I had gone with you, I could have turned back time to save him. Nah. N no. I think it would have ended the same way. I see where her moral hang-up is. She has a very big responsibility with the power to rewind time, so she feels guilt for not being able to save people. Maybe that's why Everything she's a detective. Already in motion from the moment we arrived in Doya District. That makes sense. So you shouldn't feel responsible for what happened. No, she shouldn't. She's way too cute to have any feeling of regret Thank or responsibility. You. I feel relieved after hearing that. I cannot help but think uh, I was responsible. To be able to turn back Fubuki. time means she can even reverse death. That's a huge. Goddamn, she's cute when she cries. I know that's fucked that's up to say, too but much it's for one person to shoulder alone. That is a really big responsibility. That's got to be a huge burden. Must have dealt with. Oh, shit. Now is not the time to get sentimental. The countdown is still in motion. Oh yeah, I forgot about the bombs. Shit. Right. I have to. I forgot the about the bombs. the bombs. I was too busy being interested in waifus. With Shachi dead, shit. I'm the only one who can stop them. Yeah. How much time about left? that. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. God, that we've been dicking around for forty-five minutes, Yuma. Come on, man. They say to strike while the bomb is hot. Let's stop them while we still can. God, you're stupid as fuck, and I love it, but now's not the time. It's Fubuki, God the damn. Is hot. It, never mind. The second location is the Cafe and Gima district. If it explodes, okay, off to the to cafe. Casualties. Then. We need to hurry and disarm it. What's well, okay? Fubuki isn't in a tight, revealing fucking cafe server outfit yes. anymore, so I don't think we have to hand worry about hand. them. Oh, not hand in hand. It. Hell yeah. Is it okay for us to hold hands as we go there? Just in case. Oh, she's she's shy. That's adorable. Peacekeeper patrols I hate it. Why are you making me feel like this? Stop it. Use the power to this is not me. Well, if you do not mind. <sighs> oh, she's so fucking cute. It's so interesting. Lives are on the line in this emergency, but holding a friend's hand, strangely, it calms me down. Makes me feel like all will be well. I cherish the shit out of her. I feel the same way. Having a friend by your side is reassuring in times like these. You never said that to me. We're so Because you're a bitch. You are the Let's biggest bitch I know. You suck constantly, almost. You were cool at first, and then you started talking about corpses and dead bodies and necrophilia every five seconds. Fucking weird. I don't know how I feel about Shinigami. I still don't know how I feel about Shinigami. Okay, so about defusing those bombs. Oh shit. More QTEs, let me guess. Mm -hmm. you. Oh shit! The I wasn't Everyone, looking! Get over here. Ah. Bro, that is not- Okay, alright. That is my fault. I was not looking at the screen whatsoever at all. I heard the music kick in, and that's what made me look up. That's bullshit. That's fine, though. That's fine. I was not looking at the screen. I'll give the game that one, but that's bullshit. I was not even remotely looking at all. I would have pressed the button had I been. Fine. Uh, let's head that way instead. I guarantee you, I will not yeah. miss another one. That's unbelievable amounts of fucking stupid. Over there too.
Okay, so mm -hmm. far so good. Is someone there? So Fubuki just rewinds time if I fuck up a QTE like I thought. That's honestly really nice. I wish more games did that. So it seems like there's not really a lot of penalty for missing one. Fubuki, now's our chance to get out of here. Right. Okay, I gotta remain attentive here because I keep like dawdling off and like looking away from the screen, and that's gonna get me fucked in these situations. It's also what screws me over is there's no sound cues for the QTEs until you press them. The second camera I set up. If this one explodes, the cafe will be heavily damaged. I may lose my second home. And your job. Not only that, depending on how strong the bomb is, it could affect all of Gima District. We have to hurry and disarm it. Yeah, but I was looking at my phone during that. I wasn't even looking at the fucking screen. That wasn't very fair. Although I guess I should be transfixed on the game, not on my phone. It's kind of my own fault, really. I shouldn't touch the bomb itself. I can disable it using the screen. Why don't we have Shinigami disable it? She's a fucking ghost already. She doesn't have to worry about blowing up. I got a waifu in a future to think about. No, I shall stay here. We can try again, even if you fail. Oh, cool! Hell yeah. That is really comforting to hear. Like, if I fuck it up, I don't have to worry about fucking it up. That's awesome. Best waifu. Oh my lord. Are you sure, Fubuki? She's very forward. I have prepared for this moment since our like adventure it. began. Concentrate on disarming the bomb, Yuma. All right. Okay, I don't know how okay, bad no this what, is going to be. I need to disarm this before the time limit expires. This might be terrible. I might get us blown up. I yeah, might kill us. Well, I'm not your husbando, bitch. Uh-oh. Okay, what is this? Select the correct answers in time to defuse the bomb. Incorrect answers are going over the time limit will cause the bomb to explode, so watch out. Okay, let's take a look at this pattern and see if we can cheat it and figure it out beforehand, because I'm a sneaky little bitch like that. Okay, so we have up left, up right, lower right, lower left. And then if I were to place one in the middle there, then it'd be upper left, and then lower left, and then right, and then... Okay, so it's gonna be upper right, I think. I think the red triangle is gonna be upper right. Let's try upper right. I think that's the pattern. Let's do upper right. Which one of these is upper right? That one. Bam. Yeah! Got him good! I cheated. I'm not good at all. I just cheated. Fuck yeah, it is. Fubuki's impressed. Hey, babe, you wanna, bear <laughs> you wanna bury somebody that's really good at bomb defusal? Success! I've defused one bomb. I'm not gonna let it go to my head, dude. We saved the city. Wait, no, there are two other bombs, I think. Right? Huh? There are two bombs left. The next countdown has already started. But now the time limit is 45 minutes. Wait, hold on. What if they're not bombs? What if they're just sounds? What if they're just sound effects? That is shorter than the last one. Correct. To make us think they're bombs. It's like a game. Almost like they're toying with us. It's not almost. They are absolutely toying with you. Otherwise, why make a mini game out of disarming bombs? That's a good point. This up anyway? I was given a That's what I want to set know. up the bombs, and now they're making me disarm them with puzzles. They knew they'd get even more heat, and yet still issued a criminal declaration. What's their end goal? What are they trying to make me do? Wait, what if Amaterasu has a hand in this in an attempt to reclaim the assets from the safe? What was the Resistance trying to do? Um, Yuma, so this is going to give us context you later. Your client home at the Resistance's estate? That reminds me, I don't think there was anyone else Yeah, Akardi and Servan and everybody else was if they gone. they there, they would have been caught. If any of the late client's family were about, we could have asked them about the circumstances. So I think that's something that we're going to get You're context right. for later. The Resistance leaders must know something about this. But since they weren't at the hideout, I don't know where to find them. The one named Servan designated the camera locations. I've tried calling him on the transceiver, but there's no response. I have no idea where he could be. If they were planning to screw you over from the get-go, then that camera guy must have played a role in it. I think they all played a role in it. I know about it. that. Maybe he I think they all did. The circumstances, like me. There you go. 
an interesting doormat. If you're a detective, then you gotta suspect everybody. Well, it's also that in this chapter has a very big theme of Yuma being taken advantage of, anyway, from what I've noticed. Anyway, let's head to the third bomb's location. Yeah, let's go to the third bomb. Let's see about yes. disarming it. The third one is in Kamasaki District. Right, on top of the vending These machine. don't catch us before we get there. Can I pause? I cannot pause. Shit, I really have to go to the restroom. Not good when you're hiding from peacekeepers. Let's hope the fucking upbeat music doesn't kick in so I don't have to worry about QTEs and shit. And if it doesn't, then I can probably pause and go to the restroom real fast. God damn it, it's very poor timing. Okay, so let's see. We have the bomb in Kamasaki that we have to do, and we have the bomb at the Etheria Academy to defuse as well. Oh, god damn it! More upbeat music. Son of a bitch. I don't have time for this. I have to go to the restroom. God damn it. Can you peacekeepers fuck huh? off for like two seconds? You. No, you didn't. Oh, damn well. You. I think I know which one I'm gonna fucking pick. I think it's gonna be the brick, bitch! This. Right in the fucking dome. Get it, bitch. That was a hell of a that shot, a honestly. Nice I know, chance. seriously, that was like major league level. I've never been so happy to see a brick in my life. Uh-oh. Now what? You bastards! Uh Hi. Don't move! No, get off me, bro. Bad touch. Hey, wait! Help me! Oh, she gonna like poke him off? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, come on, dude. That's like a five foot fall. Come on, quit over dramatizing. He's just trying to get fucking retirement come on, disability pay. Come on, dude. Uh oh, there's more. Oh, no. 